It's time for evolution. We welcome you to the Organo Art Family. Today, I'm going to be talking about my experience drawing in nature. So, the other day, I went into Central Park, Manhattan. So, the reason why I went into Central Park, Manhattan, it was to, you know, explore Man um, the Central Park, explore it, and at the same time, change my workspace because I wanted to experience what it's like to draw in nature. So one thing I enjoy is privacy and Central Park is huge enough to have a private space when you're drawing in Central Park. So I chose to sit around uh, under a tree where there's a lot of shade because I'm, I'm not a sun person. I don't like the sun gleaming down on me. So I like the shade. So I sat under a, I found a, a cool spot, a chill spot where there's a lot of shade. So one thing I wasn't expecting when going to Central Park's nature spot, when I was drawing, there, were, there, there was a lot of bugs crawling up on me. So I bought a, a really small towel. I wasn't expecting like all these bugs to like start crawling up on me and crawling up on the page. I, I call them fans, bug fans that like to read comics. And what I've learned is to get a bigger mat, a bigger blanket or so to sit on so that the bugs won't be able to reach you while you're drawing. Now, besides the bugs, one benefit I feel drawing in nature had for me is while I was in nature, I was a lot more focused on, on the drawing. And compared to in the room, into, compared to if I were in my, you know, my room or so at home, uh, I wasn't as focused as I was in nature. I mean, I, I, I do tend to get focused in the room, but like being in nature tends to make me a lot more focused. So I was so focused, I didn't really mind the bugs crawling up on me. So one thing I feel will go well drawing in nature is if you were drawing organic material like like humans or or you know a, a forest while you're drawing so i feel that drawing organic material will, is what goes well while you're drawing in nature however if you were to draw things such as buildings which require straight lines uh you may not have that uh, that structure that you'll have when you when you're actually drawing on the table Unless you're, you're bringing the table into nature somehow. And I can't really imagine using the ruler on a blanket or on grass while you're sitting at a, at a lotus position. So it may feel a little uncomfortable. I personally haven't tried it yet, but when I imagine it, I, I feel that it may be uncomfortable. So I'm not sure you may want to try it out and tell me. So one thing I'd recommend to bring is a huge blanket. That's one. And number two is food. Now, I didn't bring any food, so I was starving after a few hours of drawing, so I had to go home. And also, the, the vegan, since I'm vegan, the vegan restaurant nearby Central Park like closes at 5, so I didn't really have uh, much to eat at all, or at least something solid, like a meal or so, to fill me up. So yeah, that's another tip, you know, bring food. And so to summarize it all, find a private spice a private spot in nature under the shade. Number two is bring a, a bigger blanket so that bugs won't start crawling up on you. And number three, bring food. And that will be the video. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, if you enjoyed the video, hit that like button. And yeah, that will be the video. Uh, comment below what you feel about this drawing in nature topic. Will, will you also try out drawing in nature?